Good evening, Rams, and welcome back. I'm Aislinn Carrillo, bringing you the latest in CSU sports. This past weekend, the Rams showed an immense improvement from their tough loss against Colorado at the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Both offense and defense stepped up their game, which resulted in CSU's first win of the season. The Rams now 1-1, one one, heading into Saturday's game against 2-0. University of Northern Colorado are looking for a similar turnout to their last encounter with the Bears when the Rams won 33-14 in 2011. So far, the Bears have played two very impressive games, racking in an average of almost 310 passing yards per game in comparison to CSU's 85 and a half. UNC also leads in rushing yards and turnovers. However, they are in the Big Sky Conference, a much less competitive conference than the Mountain West. A new week brings yet another new starting quarterback for the Rams. Last night, Coach Bobo named freshman Colin Hill his starting quarterback this weekend. Here's more on what he had to say. He performed really well, and everybody's kind of adjusted that, that hey, Colin's going to be the guy. Their practice has really been up tempo. Guys have been flying around, uh, and they know he's a freshman. They know he's going to make some mistakes, but they feel comfortable with what he's done out there in practice. Coming off of two straight losses, CSU Volleyball is back at it again with a busy weekend ahead. The Rams will face New Orleans tomorrow night at home in Chicago State and CU Saturday in Boulder. Last time CSU met with the Buffs was in the 2014 NCAA Tournament when the Rams won the match 3-2. Coming up, Olivia Nicholson will be joining us to give us her insight on what it's like to be a part of the CSU Volleyball team. Stay tuned. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Welcome back from the break. I'm sports anchor Aislinn Carrillo, and joining me tonight from the CSU volleyball team is Olivia Nicholson. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Are you ready to talk some volleyball? Always. Awesome. Okay, so as a freshman, what is the transition like going from a high school team to this D1 collegiate program? College ball is definitely faster in terms of blocking and the speed of other team sets, so you kind of have to broaden your field of vision in terms of what you're watching and when to make a move, you know. Right, that totally makes sense. And what is it like to be a freshman on this team that has such a successful history behind it? Um, it's a great program. That's one of the reasons I came here. And also playing in Moby is one of the best experiences you could ask for, and you really can't explain it unless you're there yourself. I agree. And being such a young team, how does this affect the overall chemistry? It definitely hasn't affected it in a negative way. Um, we do have a lot of freshmen, so it's you know, taking us a little bit longer to get the hang of it, but the seniors and the juniors on the team are great leaders. All right, and I know you guys have a very long weekend ahead going up against New Orleans and CU. How do you feel going into this weekend? Um, I'm excited to play in Moby again on Friday, and then we leave right after the game to go to Boulder, and we play Chicago State, I believe, and um, <laughs> CU. So I'm definitely excited to play CU. I'm excited to see what happens because last time, as I said before, the Rams did take down the Buffs 3-2. Well, that is all the time I have tonight. Once again, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Up next, Emma Iannacone is here with entertainment. <laughs> 